What is up, y'all? Coming at you with another quick meal. So this is a pancake bowl. I have a recipe for this on my feed. It's on my Instagram. Um, there's a reel for it that goes along with that. But I wanted to do a tutorial here because you guys kind of like those things. So I'm going to walk you through exactly how I do this. So uh, ingredients needed. I'm going to read through just what I have here listed on my fitness pal. You're going to need one serving, which is 53 grams of Kodiak pancake mix. You're going to need 40 grams of pure pumpkin, right? So here's my Kodiak cake mix. I buy the big ass bucks at Costco because we go through a ton of it. Um, 40 grams of pureed pumpkin, then half a serving of protein powder. If you need more protein, you can add in a full serving of protein powder. You just might end up needing a little bit more water um, to make the consistency that you want. Um, so just be gentle with how much water you add in, slowly adjust that if needed. Um, for me, I love this one. It's the Bomar Nutrition Protein S'mores. Uh, it is amazing. I'm obsessed with it. It is so good in this recipe, you guys. Um, and then you're gonna also want half a serving of mini semi-sweet chocolate chips, delicious. Uh, and then we also need half a teaspoon of baking powder and then just a quarter cup of water okay um so those are the ingredients going in it the pancake mix the pumpkin protein powder mini chocolate chips if you want them obviously you don't have to um baking powder and water but other things you're gonna need you need this delicious bowl <laughs> delicious bowl it's about to be a delicious bowl you're gonna need some spray so that all of your stuff doesn't stick to the edges of the bowl okay so sprayed the inside of my bowl. Next, I'm going to add in my water. I'm going, no, I'm not going to add my water. I want to because of the way that the protein powder and stuff like sticks to the edges, but we're just going to try it and I'll just deal with it. I'll have to stir it a lot. So here's what I got going on here. We'll see if we can get a good angle. I've got my kitchen scale here. I'm going to put my bowl on the scale. We're going to turn it on and it's going to flash zeros okay so i've got it in grams i can change my scale on the side it's going to be different for every food scale you guys but for me i can do it on the side here it can change to pounds and ounces to ounces and back to grams so i need 53 grams which is one serving of this pancake mix something went to dump it in there the scale is a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes and takes a second to catch up so there we go All right, 54 grams, close enough. Then I'm gonna add in my chocolate chips. I already measured them out just to make my life easier. I'm going to put in my baking powder. It really doesn't matter what order you go in, guys. It does not matter, do whatever works best for you. Just remember what you've already done so you're not like doubling up on shit. Um, then I'm going to take this bowl off to make my life easier. I want to make sure I'm getting enough of the pumpkin without like having to add a little bit at a time. So I put the can of pumpkin on the scale. I'm going to zero out my scale or tear it out. And I'm gonna measure out my 40 grams that I need. Again, this will just give me a more accurate measurement and makes it so I'm not having to constantly add some and then maybe have to um, like take a little bit of pumpkin out of this bowl if I accidentally overdid it with too much, okay? So there we go. And then I'm gonna do the same thing actually with my protein powder. So zeroing out my protein i put the whole bin on the scale and i'm going to zero that out then i need half a serving for this one that's about 16 grams so i just scoop until i get 16 grams and again remember if you're somebody who needs more protein add a full scoop i personally don't have a problem getting protein from real food so i very rarely use protein supplements throughout my day um okay and then now i'm going to stir in my water here so I didn't put all of it in just yet. I want to mix it up, see how we're doing with the consistency. Like I said, if you're doing more protein powder, you might need more water. And even if you're doing just the amount of protein powder that I'm doing, you still might need more water, okay? It's all about the consistency that you prefer for yours, okay? So as a reminder, one serving, AKA 53 grams of Kodiak protein pancake mix, 40 grams, of pumpkin canned pumpkin half a scoop or more if you want of your favorite protein powder i'm telling you this bomar nutrition s'mores is fire half of a serving which is about eight grams of mini chocolate chips half of a teaspoon of baking powder and i used a quarter cup of water okay so 
There's all that goodness. Look at my fork as I can. I'm going to put it in my microwave. You don't really need to see this, but I'm just going to show you anyways. Put my bowl in. Cover it because I don't like to splatter. This is where it's a little tricky for me after I remember what I'm doing. So I'm doing time cook 145, power level 7, and start. Okay. So I learned this recipe from one of my other coaching friends, Nicole. And she, when she came over to my house and made it for me, this is the first time she was like, it's very important that you do the power level seven and whatever. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we did it. And then I did try doing it without doing that specific power level seven. And it just wasn't, didn't turn out right. So just to let you know, that is an important step. Is it going to make or break your recipe? Not entirely, but telling you the power level seven is kind of important from experience. All right. So while that's cooking, I can put everything else away. That's how we multitask, people. And then something else I want you to think about is like, you didn't see me put any fruits or vegetables in this recipe. So this is just the base. You're going to want to add something else into this to make it a full meal if that's your thing, right? So for me, my personal recommendations with everybody that I coach with myself is to have a protein and a plant in every single meal. Why? Because protein is what helps to keep us fuller for longer. It helps us to build and maintain lean body mass because well, let's face it, if you wanted to lose weight or something, the best way to do it is to keep that protein intake high so that when you lose weight, you're losing fat exclusively and not losing your lean body mass, your muscle mass. You want to actually have that muscle on you so you look lean, toned, and defined, right? So that's why we want to protein at every single meal. And you want to know your protein target for every day. If you don't know where to start, make sure you're shooting for at least 100 grams per day. Beyond that, I would say shoot for about 0.7 grams per day times your body weight. So for instance, if you weighed 200 pounds, you would want to aim for at least 140 grams of protein a day. Okay. And then you want to have fruit or a vegetable because we need micronutrients. We need to actually get vitamins and minerals from food. And that's what you get from fruits and veggies, you guys. Um, and also fiber is going to help you to have great digestion. It's going to keep you regular. And it's something that promotes you again, feeling fuller for longer, just like protein. So anyways, here's my bowl. Delicious. We love it. But I am going to add a couple toppings. I need Cool Whip because Cool Whip is life. Okay. So one serving of Cool Whip. Zero out scale. Do your thing. Is I think nine grams. Yeah, nine grams. So frozen Cool Whip is a total vibe on this, you guys. Mm, so good. It's all I did. Nine grams. And then I'm going to add some sliced strawberries because sliced strawberries. Remember, I want some fruit in there. I want some fiber in there. So all I did, put my bowl on here, going to zero it out. And I'm going to put on 100 grams of strawberries because that sounds effing delicious and magical and amazing. For those of you that are out there eating like two strawberries, knock that shit off. Start eating at least 100 grams of berries in a serving because I don't know what the hell you think you're doing. Get out of here, stupid thing. Stay in the call. Um, so yeah, that is my delicious pancake bowl. Um, let me make sure I update my meal. So this entire recipe for just the pancake bowl is 308 calories for myself. Okay. So I'm going to add it into my food log. Let's see. I'm having it for meal two today. And I also need to scan my Cool Whip. Got to account for those calories. I ended up having 12 grams. So I'm going to put that in. And I had strawberries. I had 100 grams there. So this thing is effing delicious. So good. And it is 404 calories, 37 grams of protein, and 7 grams of fiber. Holla at your girl. So again, 400 calories. 37 grams of protein, seven grams of fiber, and it is effing delicious. I'm literally having this in the middle of the day as like a dessert today because it sounded like a good second meal for me, and that's what I wanted. So hope that was helpful. Again, if you like recipes like this, let me know because I like to do it for you if it's something you enjoy. Uh, but also another pro tip for you, you don't have to make this into a protein 
mug protein bowl, protein pancake bowl. You could make that same recipe, but make it into actual pancakes. That's actually how I make the pancakes that I take with me when I'm traveling primarily. Um, I end up just making the exact same recipe, but I just make it in a large measuring cup. And then I make it into like three or four pancakes out of my Blackstone. So again, a recipe that you can do a couple different ways. Hope it was helpful. We'll talk to you soon.